Hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in. On this video, I am showing you how I do my creative grooming. On this dog, I am doing a beach umbrella and I've started out using a wall Bravura 5-in-1 clipper to set my line. And once I've done that, I'm gonna go in with my curved shears and I'm going to clean it up. So I'm gonna get any strays stray hairs and clean up the line down to the skin of any hairs that the clipper didn't grab, didn't cut off, and just make it look a lot neater. I'm gonna comb out any loose hairs so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just trying to get in there and get a much cleaner curve and make sure that it's symmetrical on both sides. Because his fur grows at an angle on his hip, a little more fur comes off of the left side of the umbrella than on the right. So I have to make sure that it looks good and that I take off enough hair where it doesn't look funny, but it matches. Then I'm gonna switch out to my small comb, which is about a 40 blade, excuse me, my small clipper, which is a 40 blade. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set the scallops for the bottom of the umbrella. And this basically will show me where I'm separating each colored panel of the umbrella because later on I will go in and I will airbrush it or chalk it to give it some color. If you'd like to see the finished product as I don't have a video of the finished product, you can go and follow me on Instagram at the creative groomer. I have the picture up there or you can find me on Facebook. You can find my Facebook page and like that also under the creative groomer. So again, I set my scallops with the mini clipper and once I have them set, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to clean them up and I'm gonna define them with my curves. And I do this because it's a lot easier for me to stop mid scissor in case he moves and I'm less likely to cut out a chunk of fur as I would be if I used my clipper for the entire thing. Many times, as you can see with this dog, they will paddle their feet, turn and look to see what we're doing, turn and look out the front door to see if their owners are coming. And so I have to learn to work around that. So I try to do this as quickly as possible, but as efficiently as possible as to not make too many mistakes. And if you make a mistake, we just call them happy accidents and we go with it. So again, I'm gonna take my comb, I'm gonna clear out all the fur, and I'm gonna go back in with my scissors, and I'm going to set and define those lines with my scissors. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little tidbit of my creative grooming. As you can see, there's the umbrella, and then I'll go in later to set the stand and to do the color. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.